Hi guys, Pete from XCAT. I'm going to make uh, sausage and peppers. I just hit the produce stand and I got a variation of peppers here. This is a serrano that's kind of a hot pepper. Got a long, um, this is an Italian pepper, uh, just like a bell pepper, just elongated. I uh, got some colorful bell peppers that we're going to put in there and a tomato. Other thing we're going to need is an onion. That's a pretty big onion too. That went to the butcher, and we have our sausages. I'm going to go ahead and fill up this pan. If you got a family, you might want to make a uh, have a okay, bigger pan. The first thing I'm going to yes. cut up is the serrano. So I'm going to cut this into little strips, and that's going to be the first layer in the pan. Here we go. We got the sliced up serrano pepper. That's going to be the first thing we're going to put into this pan. Next thing going in there is the red bell pepper, kind of an orangey red red pepper, and I cut them into slices like that. Real simple. That goes into the pan. We just kind of scatter that in there. Pretty easy meal to make and delicious. This will definitely cheaply feed the family. Next big guy we're cutting up. And don't forget with these guys, keep the seeds. This is a, a great plant to grow outside. I mean, you cut out the center and there's the seeds. So you let them dry in a paper towel and um, you can have a little crop of peppers in the backyard green pepper goes in there. Very easy. Easy meal here. Next thing I'm going to cut up is a tomato. And this is a pretty good sized tomato. This is what's going to make up the sauce. I'm going to put tomato slices. I'm going to dice it into cubes. Put the uh, sausage in there. And actually ketchup goes in with it with some garlic and basil to make up that sauce with the tomato. Comes out great. In goes some of the tomato. This tomato is enormous. It will, it'll definitely cook down though. And again, that's what really gives it that great base. Alright, next thing that goes in is your sausage. This is a sausage from the butcher. Um, nice and fresh. What I'm going to use is some shears. These are meat shears, very sharp, and it makes it very easy to cut up this sausage into small little mini meatballs. So I'm just going to kind of scatter these guys all the way through and that smells great and this one's a little bit on the spicy side this is a Colombian sausage and I'm gonna have some standard Italian sausage in there too two different types to kinda vary the flavor alright there's our spicy one and there's the Italian one beautiful sausages from this butcher This one is a little bit on the, the frozen side. Still can get through it pretty good. I just cut the little rings in there. We're going to mix this up with some garlic and basil and red pepper. All the spices you like. A little salt and pepper. And some ketchup. Ketchup is going to be the tomato sauce. I know you're probably thinking ketchup, yuck, but it works out pretty good. Um, I had a friend that actually introduced me to that, and it really makes a nice sauce in there with the tomatoes. Uh, he didn't put tomato in it, I actually add the tomato, that's my idea. And it makes for a great, great sauce. Alright, some more of that tomato. Just the other half that I had left over from before. Right on top, and I'm going to cut up some onions here. Packing that guy pretty high. We're going to coat this with tin foil. This is going to go in the oven at uh, 425. Alright, we got a diced sweet white onion. I put that on top. Usually I do a, a aluminum uh, pan, one of those really big pans, but uh, today we're not having anyone over, so just doing this in kind of like a, uh, a bread, bread baking pan. Pack to the top here. There we go. Alright, now some minced garlic. I love garlic, so I'm going to put a lot of garlic on here. What's better than garlic and spicy things? There we go. Okay, also we're going to put a little bit of black pepper on the top. And some crushed red pepper as well.
and some basil. Plenty of basil. I'm going to put a, just a little bit of extra virgin olive oil on the top and then the ketchup. Here's the extra virgin olive oil right over the top like so. And now the ketchup. You're probably going to use almost a half of a thing of ketchup to Nice. We got backup or ketchup. I can't win here. <laughs> all right, all over the top here. Really coat it good. This is what's going to turn into the sauce. That with the tomatoes. Like I said, you're going to use almost a half a thing of, of uh, ketchup. Squeeze that all over, and you're going to smooth it out with the with the spoon here. You just kind of get it in there. This is going to be coated with tin foil. Again, this is going to go into the oven for 25 and in about I'd say 25 minutes I'm going to mix this up really good. Um, at that point I'll judge if it needs a little more ketchup. Usually I'll add a little bit more ketchup in about 20-25 uh, minutes after it's in there. But there we go. That's all the ingredients that go into the peppers and onions. There we go, we got the tin foil on the top there, and we'll be back in about 25 minutes to check on that. Okay, it's been almost 20 minutes. I'm just going to go ahead and stir in this ketchup, and this is going to start to thin out in probably another 10 or 15 minutes. It's actually starting to thin out and turn into a sauce. You can see it's kind of lightening up. It's getting there. So just mix this in, put a little bit more ketchup on the top, probably a little bit more garlic powder and a little salt and pepper. Cover it up and let it sit for about another 20 minutes, I think. But we're looking good. All right, thanks, guys. All right, we're about 25 minutes in, and you can see that turned into a sauce. It's uh, looking real good here. Probably another 10 minutes, and we're we're done. Maybe 15 minutes. It's my dog in the background making noises. He's all excited. But yeah, it looks like a real nice sauce now. Super. Well, I'm hungry. This looks good. Okay, typically you can put this over like an Italian bread. I made a little bit of egg noodles and I'm actually going to put this uh, sausage and pepper on top of the, uh, the egg noodles. So, that's how we're doing it. But this should be done. It's been in there, I guess we're cooking probably 35, almost 40 minutes. Move that camera over. Look at that. That's beautiful, steaming away. And as you can see there, it turns into a super nice sauce. And you can make it as spicy as you like it. But those tomatoes are totally cooked and looks like a beautiful sauce. So that's it. We're done. There we go. Over the egg noodles. That's cooking with mixed cat. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Yeah!